हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक आवर ऑनलाइन क्लास साइंस सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर फोर्टीन थी चैप्टर दैट इज द लाइट चैप्टर इन प्रीवियस ऑलरेडी यू हैव स्टडीड दैट इन दैट ऑफलाइन क्लासेस इन द क्लासेस सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास अगेन आफ्टर ए लॉन्ग डेज येस सो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट क्लासेस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टू यू अबाउट दैट law of reflection and what about the incident ray reflected ray and a, what are the different uh, the, uh, laws of the two laws are there first law of reflection and also second law of reflections okay so students today we are going to discuss about that uh, what is that regular and irregular reflection the reflections are whatever taking place there are two types generally one regular reflection another one is irregular reflection but before that first some points you have to understand the first one is beam of light do you have a idea that beam of light beam of light means a group of lights okay beam of light means a group of lights which are coming from the source okay source means suppose the sun sun is coming that group of lights but we cannot see that group of light by the using the prism or by that other uh, instrument we can see that we can detect that what are the group of lights okay suppose like uh, it will split that spectrums like that or different uh, Uh, that is whenever we will study that in uh, uh, next uh, videos or we will get that idea about that uh, what is that uh, dispersal how the split is that uh, lights are splitting into the different colors we will study that uh, in the next after that come upcoming videos but uh, what are the group of lights uh, first of all you see that friends a group of light rays coming from the same source in the same direction is called as a beam of light same source it is coming and uh, they are traveling in the same direction okay that is called as a beam of light and this beam of lights are generally three types one is parallel beam of light second one is convergent beam of light third one is divergent beam of light so how many types of students there are three types beam of lights are there that whatever the lights are coming from the source they are groupedly they are coming and they are generally there are three types one is parallel beam of and the second one is convergent beam of light third one is divergent beam of lights okay so one by one we will discuss first day, what is the parallel beam of light so students whenever that sound from the sound it is coming that means one source it is coming but that if they are both are parallel okay but the sound rays are not parallel students but you see so whenever it is coming from the sound it is coming that ray this is not parallel lens so it is one point it is coming okay so it is divergent once more means it is uh, going from spreading from one point to so but whenever the rays are coming out from the source like that parallel source like this so these are the, all are each other to this all lines or all rays are parallel to each other okay that one part that is called as a parallel beam of light so see the beam of light uh, that are pa parallel to each other is known as parallel beam of light where source it is getting but the rays should be parallel to each other that is called as what a parallel beam of light you can see that these all lines are parallel to each other or these are parallel to each other same like students what is that convergent beam of light convergent means they will meet one point okay convergent convergent means they will meet one point the all rays will come the focus you have seen that friends when about that in sun uh, magnifier do you know in that sunlight if you will keep that magnifier and will focus one point then the sun rays will pass at one point that point will get that heat and it will last it will be times born so that is called as converge converge means the all the rays will pass one point that means this is like you see this first ray it is coming like this and it is you can see like this way also and this all rays are converging one point single point okay so these are called as a convergent beam of lights okay so this is the convergent beam of light second one what is that divergent beam of light that means beam of light which are actually spread from a point a point say matlab sun jaisa a point say it will be spread it will be spread and it will go away so that such type of such rays are called as what is that divergent beam of light okay these are also beam of light but diverging from one point to it is a diverging so these are called as divergent beam of light so all about you have studied that what are the beam of light beam of light means a group of light okay beam of light means it is a group of a light which are spreading but it is a different way there are three types according to their moment so there one is 
parallel beam of light that means the rays are paralleling each other and a convergent beam of light that means they will converge one point and a divergent beam of light that means they will divert that means they will spread from a one point that is called as a divergent beam of light okay so now we will discuss about that what is that regular and what is the irregular reflection in this video okay okay students so now you should see that what is the regular reflection the regular reflection means it is also called as a specular reflection regular reflection means also it is called as a specular reflection and it is the reflection from the polished surface okay that whatever the reflection we are getting that uh, it should be polished surface like water like mirror okay and stainless steels and some which are very smoothness and that from that it is reflecting and all that uh, reflected rays are parallel to each other you can see that here i image that uh, here all rays are incident that reflect incident rays these are called incident ray after that uh, reflect from the surface of that uh, mirror this is and a uh, we can say it is a mirror also smooth surface and it is reflecting back yes or no so these are also after reflection also these are parallel to each other so the image is seen in the reflecting surface the image which will form that reflecting surface inside you can see it can be seen in the plane mirror on you to scale a steel plate water etc whatever this regular reflection we can see that a mirror inside especially we are utilizing in our mirror and generally we can identify easily and in otherwise the stainless stainless steel plate stainless steel plates we can see that also regular reflection also uh, uh, water that is uh, uh, that is steel water like uh, constant water that plain water you can see that uh, where is the there is not movement that water also you can see that uh, regular reflection okay now friends we will go for that what is that irregular reflection it is also called as a diffuse reflection because it diffuses and it is after the reflection at the beam of parallel beams of it will fall but uh, after that reflecting that all rays are diffused that means they will move in the different direction they will be changed there that means they are not parallel to each other after the reflection it is the reflection from the rough or irregular surfaces if there is a rough surface or the irregular surfaces that smoothness not there that surface it is generally what that reflection will get that is called as irregular reflection reflected rays moves in many direction that not are in one direction in but regular cases if you say that this all uh, that all rays are reflecting rays are moves in same direction in parallel to each other but in a rough surface which one uh, no smoothness that ray after the reflection they will move in all direction different direction they will move it can be seen in the scratch mirrors rippling water and etc matlab you can see that a scratch mirror if it is broken or it was scratch it over then that mirror we can see that a reflection and then also rippling that means if that uh, waves are forming like that uh, water that is also whatever the image will form or reflecting ray uh, rays will form get that is also called as irregular reflection okay friends so now we will discuss about that what is the real virtual uh, images how it is forming in the next video what is that virtual image what is that uh, real image we will discuss in the next video thank you all of you have a nice day friends and a special request for you friends whatever that you have completed the notes in that uh, offline classes from that you have to continue every day whatever the video you will get that video you have to note it because it is very important for your future and also for that upcoming exam okay be careful and write very neatness with the sheet and read also Thank you. Have a nice day.